Hi, this is Shannon with Florabella Collection. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of Florabella Lux 2 actions and um, I'm also going to demonstrate the try and mix action which enables you to try all of the main actions on one image and then mix and combine them at different opacities until you find a recipe or a combination that suits your image and your style. It's really fun. So um, let's look at the main actions in the set. There are 23 main actions including two black and white actions and an action called lullaby which was specifically formulated for uh, newborn images but works well on other images um, as well. So we also have in this set 12 enhancing actions and those are sunlight, sweetness, paint on light and dark, paint on vivid color which is like a selective color pop, highlight protection, red removal, warmer and cooler, soft center light, edge vignette which is like an edge burn, sharpen defog, and then three more sharpening actions, a web resize and sharpen that you can use um, for your blog no matter you know what the width is of your blog and then also Facebook resize and sharpen both for horizontal and vertical that uh, helps you prepare your image to share on Facebook so let's go ahead and look at the try them all action uh, now first I should explain that there are five actions within the main actions of the set um, that have multiple versions built in for instance the Pollyanna action um, as you will see has three versions the regular Pollyanna result and then also um, one called City Girl which is an urban version of Pollyanna and another called Country Girl which is a vintage version of Pollyanna and um, those results of the extra actions within the set will be included in the, tr in the try them all um, results so we'll take a look at that now this set is really large it's a, it's actually a double set with a few more workflow actions um, included but it is it is more like a double set so they will all together be 31 variations to look at after we play try them all so here we're going to click try them all and let's let that run it takes quite a while for it to run because it has to run each action in the set. Okay, so here we are after the try and mix action has completed playing and as you can see there's a lot of layers in our layers palette over here. Um, at the top of our layers palette we have a lighten layer and a darken layer and you can use those to adjust the result that you that you like down below. So let's start at the bottom. Here we have our background image. You start at the bottom and you click one layer at a time to give you a view of what each action would look like with no tweaks at 100% opacity. Um, you can then either flatten and save one of those results or you can change the opacity and lighten and darken or you can use it just to give you a glimpse of what that action looks like and then go back to another background image and play that action and go ahead and tweak the individual layers that will load with that action. Alright, so let's take a look at what each action looks like on this image at its full strength opacity. I'm starting with black and white blush, black and white film, lullaby, which is a newborn action, Pollyanna, and now we have two other versions of Pollyanna, Pollyanna Country Girl, which is a more vintage look. Pollyanna City Girl, which gives an urban color boost. Tea Time, Loom, Tuesday, Timeless, Pearl. Now Pearl is a real special action. It doesn't look great on all photos. This is a real pearly, hazy look that some people love. But there's Pearl 2, which uh, is an unhazy version of Pearl. And it's real pretty on this image, I think. Uh, Trixie. Trixie 2, which adds in more of the blues and cyans and colors that uh, you lost with the Trixie 1. Sugar, Smitten, Vanity, Halo, Envy, Blush, which is a real pretty hazy blush, and then in Blush 2, which takes out the haze and makes it more crisp. Shishi, to scroll up a little bit. Jane, now we have Hazy Jane and Urban Jane, Posh, Milk, 
swoon, love, and angel. And just going through these quickly, there's so many that are, are beautiful on this image, but in particular, I really like swoon. So I'm going to take my Alt key, hold down Alt, and click swoon. And then I'm going to go down and make sure my background layer is on as well. Now from here, I can just flatten and save this, or I can reduce the opacity if I think it's a little too dramatic. Here we are at 57, here we are at 87, here we are at full strength, and I like it dramatic, so I'm going to keep it at 100. Um, you can go ahead and, and flatten and save, like I said, or you can also just run swoon and go in and tweak the individual layers to make it perfect for your style and the particular image. Uh, or you can use the try and mix action to mix your actions, which is super fun. So here we have swoon. Let's say we want to make it a little cooler and add some angel to it. We're going to click angel on and just reduce the opacity all the way down and add a little bit of angel to your swoon until you like the result. That looks pretty at about 45%. Um, you can combine as many actions as you'd like doing this method. Uh, now let's say that it's just too dark, too light for you. You can click on the darken layer and it'll darken it up. You can click on your lighten layer and it'll lighten it up. Or you can take your try and mix folder group layer here and reduce the opacity, let's say down to 65% or whatever you like, and then you can look at what the actions look like at 65%. So we can try a couple. Let's look at Pearl 2 at 65. That looks pretty. Blush 2, Urban Jane. So the, the possibilities are endless. There's so much you can do with this action, and it's really, really fun to try to come up with new combinations and uh, recipes. But for this image, I'm going to bring it back up to 100% and click Swoon because I really love that one. And I'm just going to keep that uh, like it is. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and the after with Swoon. Now that's with no tweaking. I can always run Swoon. Let's see, where are we? There we are. Click play. And like all Florabella actions, Swoon loads multiple layers. They're all fully adjustable. You can go into the adjustment and adjust from there as well. Um, and there we have it. Uh, expand the group, and I think I'm going to add a little more vignette to this, make it a little more dramatic. Um, this action has a sharpened defog layer built in, so it's already nice and sharp. There's a couple hazes in here that you can add. There's just endless possibilities with uh, this set of actions, but I think that looks great as is. Um, I could always go to some of these paint on actions down below and and um, create more of a vignette by painting on dark or lightening up some areas by painting on light or paint on a vivid lab color. Uh, but this action really brought out the colors beautifully in this image, so I don't need to do that. All I need to do is flatten. And I think I'm going to post this to my blog, so I'm going to go for the web resize and sharpen. Or actually, no, I'll put it on Facebook. Facebook resize and sharpen resizes it to Facebook size 720 pixels and adds a little sharpening here and lower the sharpening just a tad because I already had sharpening built in and uh, now I can save this and it's all ready for Facebook. I'd like to thank the beautiful Kaylin for modeling for me for this shoot and also just real quick show you once again the before and the after with Florabella Swoon. The set can be found at florabellacollection.com. Thanks.